Hello, Sicario. I'm Captain Griffiths, otherwise known as Stardust. From now on, I'll be your point of contact with the Cascadian Independence Force. I was a National Guard pilot when it all went down, and now I'm working with you. We're pressed for time, so listen up. Cascadia's prosperity, our natural bounty, has always gone to support the world. For the last few decades, we have done this by our partnership with the Pacific Federation, providing aid and infrastructure to the less fortunate internationally. The Federation, however, in recent years, has used the resources we provided to forcefully expand by conquest and military strength. We could not let our cordium or geothermal deposits fuel this war machine. Cascadia as a nation sought independence from the Federation outright, in order to prevent the Federation from imperially expanding further. Unfortunately, they turned against us. They have seen fit to unify and federalize Cascadian infrastructure as a whole. When we resisted, they turned the country inside out. We refuse to let that stand. So, here's the plan for you mercenaries right now. In Northern Cascadia, Rosedower AFB was a joint base used by both the Cascadian National Guard and the Federation. When hostilities took off, however, the Federation seized the base from the National Guard. Your objective today is to take back the base into our hands. Hitman team will lead aerial operations, wiping out any anti-air defenses. Circus, our transport aircraft carrying Sicario's airborne troop element, will then vector in and drop onto the base to secure it. Take care not to damage the facilities too much during the attack. Sicario and other mercenary elements will be using this base afterwards. I'm sure you want to operate from an actual base anyway, as opposed to some dirt strip. So let's get rolling. Alright, g'day, welcome back to Project Women. It's been a few days, I haven't really had the time to play the game. And now the game is out, and my goodness, it's had a positive reception. So I guess let's get stuck into it. Uh, because, why not? Alrighty, well, let's get stuck back into it. I must say, this game is utterly gorgeous. Welcome to Mission 3, Homestead. Day 3 of the current contract. Got heaps of other things to do. Uh, I hope you're enjoying it. If you did pick up this game, did you enjoy it? Are you enjoying it? I've heard lots of feedback from different people saying, Oh yeah, this game is bloody fantastic. And a lot of other creators have been saying the same thing. Anyway, what's with this mission? Uh... Destroy some anti-air and some grand units and a whole heap of other things too. Okay. Well, I'm not exactly the greatest at arcade flight games. However, we're going to give it a go. Now, this is on normal difficulty, so I don't know. Let's give a Fox 2 and let's go after that thing as well. Got one target down. We're going to keep after the others. We're going to go after these PT boats. Again, the controls are nice. Uh, and it feels more natural compared to that of Ace Combat 7. I've always struggled with Ace Combat 7. I never really enjoyed it. I did complete the campaign, however, I just didn't find it that entertaining. Right, yeet. Is he going to get destroyed? Yes, he is. Beautiful. All right, we'll go with the guns on the uh, other PT boats up here. Come on, there we go. Beautiful. All right, now some anti-air. What do we got? It's a friendly up there. Let's roll around a little bit, activate the afterburner. Right, let's see. Uh, can I use these shipborne missiles? I've got a couple of them. I've got two of them underslung. So let's uh, let's launch one at that direction. Okay, as it goes. Beautiful. Now let's go after the others. Actually, we'll just equip standard missiles and then we'll just go after these anti-airs. Because these are an utter pain in our backside. Destroyed. Destroyed. Beautiful. Alright, next set. There we go. Boom. Wow, goodness me. Alright, let's pull into these clouds. I kind of want to see what this happens. So I remember playing this game and used to fly into the clouds. And there is a missile on me. Okay, who have we got next? A couple of vehicles. Another anti-air. So let's get rid of these guys. Oh, some aircraft to engage. How did I not see them? Well, they're the ones shooting uh, missiles at me before, weren't they? Wait for it to come round. Oh, he's taking it so we're just going to pop flares as well. Come on. Alright, well, screw it. We'll go after these ground units and then we'll go after the fighters again. Alright, there we go. Oh, looks like he isn't necessarily on by six either. Alright, let's see if we can get a gun run on these gun targets. 
Boom. Like that. Gosh, this game feels fantastic. It, it's just one of those games you're going to have to try. And you're going to have to trust my word on that one. Because it's just... It feels intuitive. It sounds intuitive. The game design is bloody great. The FOV and all the settings. It works with controllers. It works with HOTAS. It works with basically everything. You can even do it in bloody VR. That'd be an experience and a half. I haven't tried it in VR yet. Oh, we took up a little bit of damage. Okay, that's not going to cut. Take much more damage than that. I kind of wanted to have a perfect run, but it doesn't necessarily matter. I'm not exactly going for uh, a completion of the story at 100%. Although, I'm sure there are different modes and game modes and things that I've, that I've seen around. In fact, one thing I want to try, apparently the Avro Arrow is in this game. And even though I've had the game for a week in advance, I haven't really had the time to actually sit down and play it. So, today's bonus video, after doing the War Thunder video, is essentially me playing rather terribly. Come on, get, get, get that F-15. Oh, okay, we're going to have to wait for him to go into turn. Do we think we can get guns on him? Give him, give him the guns. That's <laughs> so much fun. You have no idea how fun that is. See, I've been playing a little bit of Conquest mode, and that's utter gorgeous fun. For example, there's a MiG-21, right? You can equip a drop tank filled with explosives. Because why the hell not would you fill a drop tank of, of explosives? All right, so if we get some ADA. Right, there's one. We'll go after the other one. And there we go. Beautiful. Okay, that direction. Oh, just took a little bit of damage again. It's all right. Not too much damage. Get out of the way and get out of the hair of people. Why are they taking so long with that F-15 up there? I have no idea what the friendlies are doing. I think we have to do all the work here. Alright, well, I don't think we're going to get that guy. Are we going to get him? Ooh, yeah, you didn't quite turn fast enough. Alright, let's go after that Sam. Bet the other anti is down there. Or we could go after the other targets. I don't know, this game has too many options. Alright, Arthur Burnham, we'll go after the uh, Sam down here. And it looks like that's the airfield that we're supposed to be attacking here as well. Right. Box tone. Fox Tone. Fox 2. Crossed. And we we'll go after the other air, Sam. Come on, get in range. There we go. Yeet. Right, next one. We'll go yeet again. And we'll just go for some of these targets down here. It would be nice if I pack some bombs, because then I'd be able to get a couple of targets down. Anyway, guns. Just burn. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to know. Aircraft damage. We did take a little bit of damage there. Going up against the Federation. Yeah, to be honest, money pays, doesn't it? Money talks too. Right, there we go. One and then two. Hopefully, we get some interesting fighters. Right, there's another Sam. This is really matter. They are starting to take off. Take some more damage. How can I let's stop taking damage, you dill? Should be paying attention to where I'm going, but I'm not. Right, let's pull back over, and we've got the next couple of aircraft and, and anti-air. This is about 90% of the game, right? Ace Combat is mainly about story. Project New Man is 100% about the gameplay. There's limitless things you can do with this game, and I think it's fantastic. Like, I'm in the Vigan right now, but... The last match I played, on channel at least, was in the F4. Uh, and then I did the MiG-21 as well. But with the Rio on the F4, it was really fantastic because you got another set of dialogue uh, that you didn't really get to experience. So I highly recommend that you take out the F4 and you at least experience that sort of secondhand support that you get from the, the AI in the back of your cockpit. And that's a really well thought out sort of thing. Most people would just go, oh yeah, okay. But there's heaps of little details if you don't necessarily know what you're looking for. Anyway, let's go after these C-17s. Okay, there's one there. We'll get the other one. Uh, not quite. All right, we'll have to go around again. All right, C-17's still on the ground. All right, there's not too many left, actually. I wonder what else. There has to be another wave of aircraft, because this was just piss easy. I'm just rolling around casually, just yeeting missiles at people and, and, and gunning them down with my birds. Uh, pull up! Ooh, crikey. Right, we've got a couple of fires still up. Federation pilot. We've also got that thing over there. You know, I might take out that, the DV-204. What is that supposed to be? It's got a name underneath it, too. 
It's unlike anything I've seen. Let's go have a look. Is it an ace? Is that supposed to be an ace pilot? I don't know why that guy wasn't necessarily... Oh, I don't know. That was weird. Alright, let's go back to the action. There's an anti-air down there. We possibly could get the C-17s. Uh, might as well get the rest of the transports. Why not? Looks like the friendlies are having fun down there. Oh, they managed to destroy that C-17. Good on them. We could easily have done it ourselves, but, you know, that, that's just how it is. Ooh, ooh an aircraft. FC-16. Missile alert. And I always love that 3D missile alert warning system. Why can't War Thunder have a missile system that tells you which direction it is like that? Like a 3D or sort of 4D elemental sort of thing to tell you which direction the missiles are coming from. It's fantastic stuff. So much has changed since I played the demo. You know, this this is my 2020 game. I I I I I am literally in love with this. Yeah, I might be crap at it. Ooh, okay, we missed that missile. Right, there's some anti-air over there. Is that gonna get that? Alright, come on, we'll just go after these fighters. Priority. Alright, Fox 2. No, oh, they, they missed. Bloody hell. Okay, we've still got a tone. So if we can go get the guns on. Again, these shipborne missiles don't necessarily help with maneuverability, but I don't think they really affect the whole flight performance. There we go. Destroyed. Huzzah. Alright, who's next? There is an anti air over this direction. Okay. Let's go get this guy. Eat. Hard luck. Let it fly. A miss, really? A miss? Bloody hell. Okay, let's roll over again. And down we go. Oh, no. Some friendly destroyed it. There you go. Thank you, assassin. We need to part now. Stalk squadron. Okay. An actual challenge. Alright. So there seems to be six people. Alright, let's see how many we can get rid of. Drop some flares and let's go Fox 2. Alright, let's get some guns on. We did manage to miss that guy, but we did a decent amount of damage towards that guy too. Alright, get rid of this one. And there we go, we've got one down. Alright, roll over. Let's go after this guy up here. Come on. Right, pull around. Alright, Fox 2. Yeah, I know, Galaxy, I'm already ahead of you. <laughs> Man, I wish I had done voice acting for this guy. Countermeasures. As far as I know, they don't plan to have any more DLC content, although all the backers are in forms of supporters and, and so on and so forth. I think they're in the game as different enemies, elements, or squadrons. Come on. Again, I wish I could have backed the game and actually had my own squadron in this game. How cool would that be? I'd be like, yeah, I paid like a hundred bucks back in the day for a, for a squadron or whatever. I think it was like 300. This doesn't necessarily matter. This game is done remarkably well, and for one man to be developing the, the, the thing. You know, it's been a single dude who's released this. You know, I think he's got like maybe two other people or a couple of other contractors, but the music in this game particularly is utterly fantastic. And for a passion project, for, from an Ace Combat fan originally, remember this game was conceived before Ace Combat 7 ever came out. People saying it's just an Ace Combat 7 clone. Well, yes, different story different elements completely different gameplay looks the same though right, where's that last guy these guys have been pretty easy they've been allowing me to you know talk usually i don't talk and do gameplay at the same time Let's pull around oh man this music zigzag a little bit roll back over all right fox two Get him? No. Oh yes, we did. Beautiful. That's it, I suppose. Man, look at that. You already got the job, Scario. Who are you trying to impress? What can we say, Stardust? You get what you pay for. What can we say, Stardust? You get what you pay for. You I guess that's about it, boys. 
I hope you enjoyed today's video. I've certainly had fun. This is a quicker mission than I expected it to be. I expected it to be about 30, 40 minutes long, but, uh, no. Uh, okay, I'm going to skip the landing sequence so we don't have to see this, but I do want to see the end screen for how much stats and how many kills I've got. And now we pretend like we're landing, even though we're already going to do the landing sequence here in a second anyway. Alright. It's rough around the edges, but as far as forward operating bases go, this isn't the worst we've been at. The base didn't sustain too much damage, and there's room enough for everyone, even the other freelance freaks. The independence force of Cascadia is now the collection of true Cascadian sovereignty, and when the time comes, we'll see Cascadia rise to its own liberty without the Federation. I've been instructed by the remnants of our national government to be your liaison for the duration of your contract with us which we've sent to Kaiser for you to sign later. To be truthful, I don't agree with your way of life, but you've come to Cascadia to aid us, and for that, I can't complain. We'll pay you what you're due, as long as you give us your best. Get settled in. We need you up in the air soon. Uh, one last thing, everyone. We're going by our tack names for the duration of this contract. I'm pretty sure my name is public domain in regards to Sicario. However, we've gone to great lengths to keep yours hidden. If you break it, it's on your ass. You know how bounty hunters are if they have a name. Dismissed. There you go, nice payout. We hopefully can get some new aircraft soon. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next video soon, eh?